Hello everyone, happy to see you here and in this video we are going to solve this really interesting exponential equation 4 to the x equal to x to the fourth power. What about our x? I know that of course a lot of students see this obvious solution, but let's find out solution right here, because as we know if we have 4 right here as a solution to this problem we will have no more than 4 roots, so we need to find all roots right here. First of all we know that if we have our x, our fourth of exponent a power right here, it's really great to take log on both sides. If we take log on both side we have like natural log 4 to the x equal to natural log x to the fourth power, yeah? Okay, so we have this expression, we just take natural log on both sides and we need to know that this x jump right here because of natural log and this 4 jumps right here because this is like natural log, every power from here jumps right here behind this natural log. So we will have right now from this expression we have like x natural log 4 equal to 4 natural log x. Okay, what are we going to do next? Let's try to regroup our elements. Let's try to group constant on the left hand side and variables on the left hand, left hand side. So for this we need to divide both sides by x. Let's divide both sides by x. If we divide from left we cancel this and it appears on the right hand side. So we have like natural log 4 equal to 4 natural log x over over x. And let's bring this 4 to the left hand side, just dividing both sides by 4. From here we cancel this and it appears right here. Okay, so two really important steps. Dividing by x right here and dividing by 4 right here. Let's swap places, so this goes to the left, this goes to the right, so we have like natural log x over x equal to natural log 4 over over 4. Okay, so we have this we have this expression. And uh, right here we can see this obvious solution, uh, because if it goes with this one, with this direction, so natural log x equal to natural log 4 and x equal to 4, we can easily say that our x equal to 4, this is obvious, one obvious solution, okay? x equal to 4, this is obvious solution to this question. But this is only the first one, what about another solution? Because we have like force power, we will have like no more than 6, uh, no more than 4 roots, sorry, yeah? So let's try to find also to this question. Let's rewrite this expression, so natural log x over x equal to natural log 4 over 4. And let's try to change this x by e to the power natural log x. So let's rewrite this x as e to the power natural log x, okay? So in this way. So this is, this is completely the same because e to the power natural log x equal to 1, yeah? But in this case, if we bring this e to the power natural log x from our denominator to numerator, we will have like natural log x, or we have like a natural log x times e to the power minus natural log x, because we bring this from our denominator to numerator, equal to natural log 4, natural log 4 over 4. And right now I want to mention about Lambert W function, because we need to know about it. Take a look closely, what about Lambert W function? I try to explain you in simply words. If we have expression like that, so if we have a times e to the power a, so if we have the same, the same expression right here and right here, I take my red pen real quick, so if we have this expression and this expression the same, if we apply Lambert W function from this expression, it is equal only to our a. And let's try to apply this Lambert W function right here. But let's look closely to this expression, because we need to have like this the same and this the same, and we have e. We have e right here, which is really great, but this expression, like natural log x, is not the same as minus natural log x. And for this step, let's multiply both sides by minus 1. If we multiply both sides by minus 1, we will have like minus natural log x times e to the power minus natural log x equal to minus natural log 4 over over 4, okay? Okay. And right now we can easily apply this Lambert W function. Let's do this. Lambert W function from the left hand side right here and Lambert W function on the right hand side. As I told before, Lambert W function from the expression that have a e times e to the power a, so if we have the same this expression and this expression, it is equal only to our minus natural log x, so minus natural log x equal to Lambert W function in this point, minus natural log 4 over over 4. Okay, so we have this, we have this is a constant on the right hand side and we need to find our x. How can we do this? Let's try to take e on both sides. If we have e on both sides right here and right here, we have like x to the power minus 1, so we will have like x, x to the power minus 1 equal to e to the power lambda w function minus natural log 4 over over 4. 
Okay. Okay. And right now, we x to the power minus 1, we can easily write it as x to the power 1, but we need to swap this numerator and denominator. Or let's write it as e to the power minus lambda w function in this point, minus natural log 4 over over 4. Okay, and this is our x, and I find this exact value in a mass library, because we have like, lambda w function is not like a common function that we know all, all the values right here. So this expression, all this answer give us 2. So x second equal to equal to 2. So this, this expression give us give us 2 and x second equal to 2. x first, where we have x first, x first equal to 4. This is our x first. And let's check this x second equal to 2. Let's check it real quick. So we have 4 to the power x equal to x to the fourth power. Okay, 4 square equal to 2 to the fourth power. This looks like correct, yeah? So we have 16 equal to equal to 16, which is which is absolutely correct. But it's not the old roots right here. This is only our second root. What about our third, maybe fourth root? And for this for this uh, solution, we need to create a function. So we have like 4 to the x equal to x to the fourth. Let's bring this x to the fourth from the right to the left. So we have like 4 to the x minus x to the fourth equal to zero. This is our function, like create a function f, 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 x, yeah? So 4 to the x minus x to the 4. This is our function. And let's try to learn or remember about Newton's formula, because if we plug in 0 right here, so f in this point 0, we will have 4 to the 0 minus 0 to the 4 equal to 1, which is greater than 0. But if you plug in f in minus 1, we have like 4 to the power minus 1 minus minus 1 to the fourth, which is equal to minus 3 over 4, which is less than 0. Yeah, so we can easily say that we can apply Newton's formula right here. How this formula looks like? So we have Newton's, we have different signs right here. So we have apply, we need to apply Newton's formula, Newton's formula right here. So how this formula looks like? X in with this index x n plus 1 equal to x n minus f in this point x n and dividing by f prime in this point x n. So this is derivative, this is a Newton's formula right here. Okay, this is Newton's formula and let's try to find derivative at first. So f prime x equal to, where is our derivative? 4 to the x e minus x to the 4. This is our 4 to the x natural log 4. This is our derivative from the, from the left and minus 4x cube. This is our derivative, yeah? So let's plug in all of these elements. So x first, if you plug in it, I plug in it before, and I'm going, I'm going to tell you uh, exact value of this. So we have, if you plug in like uh, one, yeah, or plug in zero, yeah, we have like zero minus f zero and dividing f prime in this point. So it approximately equal to minus 0 0.72135. Yeah, this is our x first. Let's go to the x second. What this looks like? x second, if you plug it in into like a basic calculator, equal to minus 0 0.7213. x third equal to minus 0 0.766. And this will be our, our solution. It will be our third root because of the Newton's, Newton's formula. So let's write our all answers right here. So answers answers. So we have x first equal to 4. As I told before, we find it in the beginning. x second equal to equal to 2. And x third equal to minus 0 0.766. This is a solution to this, to this question. So a solution is right here. First two solution I find with, with Lambert W function. So as you can see right here, this is our Lambert W function and find our first solution. Second solution as well with Lambert W function we find, and the third solution with Newton's Newton's formula. Definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. I try to explain it as as much as I can because it's not like an easy question. It's not like an easy school question because Lambert W function and Newton's formula it's not any of the things, and we need to learn it closely and closely to understand how can we how can we solve it definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong okay i wish you all the best in your mathematic adventure if you still have any question write your question in the comment i try to help everyone and thank you for your time
Have a great day. See you in the next videos. I have a lot of Olympiad problems, algebra problems, and I hope you will enjoy this content. Thank you for your time and have a great day. Take care.